this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Basem Amin and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from the Rapid Tournament played in Abidjan in 2019. Play with the white pieces in this game. Basem Amin is a very strong grandmaster from Egypt, rated over 2700. Basem Amin had white pieces and he started with e4. Magnus Carlsen played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, and now bishop to b5, the Rosolimo attack. g6, bishop takes on c6, d takes on c6. Sometimes black takes with the b-pawn, but the move in the game is a more popular one, freeing the bishop on c8. Basem Amin played d3, bishop to g7, h3. If knight to c3, then black may play bishop to g4. So h3 was played. e5, bishop to e3, b6, a3, and now f5, white to move. b4 was played. Perhaps pawn takes pawn on f5 should have been considered. b4 was played. C takes on b4, a takes on b4, knight to h6, knight to a3, intending knight to c4. This was not a strong idea. Knight to f7, queen to c1, Carlsen castled kingside, knight to g5. Let's take it back. How about castling? One line goes like this, f4, bishop to d2. Knight to g5, and if knight takes on g5, queen takes on g5, black is better. Back to our game. Basem Amin played knight to g5, knight to d6, bishop to d2, h6, knight to f3. Black to move, how would you continue? Well, why the new castle? So, f takes on e4, opening the game and the file for the rook. d takes on e4, king to h7, protecting the pawn on h6. If knight takes on e4 immediately, then bishop takes on h6. So Carlsen played king to h7. It is white to move and white already has a difficult position. Bishop to e3 was played. The natural move, castling, is losing very quickly. Can you see how? Well, rook takes knight is possible, but the ordinary move, bishop takes on h3, is good enough. After g takes on h3, rook takes on f3. Back to our game. Bishop to e3 was played. Knight takes on e4. Knight to c4 attacking the pawn on e5, bishop to e6, knight on c takes on e5, queen to d6, knight to d3, bishop takes rook immediately is possible, but bishop to c3 check is better, king to e2 and now bishop takes rook on a1, queen takes bishop, a5, Queen to e5, offering to exchange queens with exchange down. But what is the alternative? Let's take it back. If bishop takes on b6, a takes on b4, and if white doesn't want to exchange queens and play something like queen to b2, then c5, white is lost. Back to our game. Queen to e5, queen takes on e5, knight from f takes on e5, a takes on b4, knight takes on c6, black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Carlsen played b3. That's the best move. Rook to c1. If c takes on b3, then rook to a2, check. And after king to e1, rook to a1, check. If knight to c1, then rook to c8 is winning. Back to our game. Rook to c1, 
bishop to c4, pinning the knight, bishop to d4, rook from a to e8, white has an extremely difficult position, and it is very hard to parry all the threats, knight to e5, knight takes on f2, king to d2, if bishop takes on f2, rook takes on e5, king to d2, knight to e4, check, king to e3, knight to c5, king to d2, let's take it back, taking the knight is not helping, one line goes like this, b takes on c5, king to d2, bishop takes on d3, knight takes on d3, c4, and black is winning, back to our game, king to d2, bishop takes knight on d3, c takes on d3, black played the move and white resigned, and the move is, what would you do, Carlsen played b2, and Basem Amin resigned, for the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line, rook to b1, knight to b3 check, king to c3, knight takes on d4, king takes on d4, rook to f4 check, king to d5, rook to d8 check, king to c6, rook to c8 check, king takes on b6, rook to b4 check, king to a5, rook to b7, king to a6, rook to b3, king to a7, rook to c1, and I guess we can stop here. Playing against Carlsen seemed like hitting a brick wall. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.